Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm bringing you a review on the St. Croix Victory 7.3 Heavy Full Contact Finesse. Now, this is a very, very cool rod and I'm excited to do this review. For those that don't know or don't really watch my videos, I actually caught my PB on this rod. Came in at seven pounds, three ounces, and I caught it flipping. So uh, this rod is kind of very special to me in that regard. So let me just go over some quick details about this rod. Like I said, it's a 7.3 heavy, and I believe it's rated as an extra fast action. It is extra fast action. That's a lie. So this is actually kind of a moderate fast action. I don't know where St. Croix got this, this rating system from, but it is certainly not extra fast. I'll show you right here. When I go to bend this rod, kind of moderate. Um, it starts bending right around the third guide, like right around here, and it loads all the way through the blank. It loads up really well, and I like that for flipping. It's got a softer tip, which is nice for making those pitches out there. I like it for jigs. Basically, anything bottom contact is what I what I would use this for. One of the other things that's amazing about this rod, you know, it, it's price point. It comes in right at 200 bucks. I believe the Victory line starts at 190. Certain models of the rod go up from there. The full contact finesse comes in at 200. One of the things that's incredible is the weight, and it comes in at 4.2 ounces which is super impressive for the price point. My 7.2 Heavy Poison Adrena comes in right around there. So I don't know what kind of witchcraft they did to make this rod so light for its length and power, but it is, it's very light. One thing, however, that plagues St. Croix is their inability to have a balanced rod. I don't know what it is, but their heavier rods, heavier applications, um, anything like medium heavy and up tend to be tip heavy and I hate to say that because I love St. Croix but um, it's true and you know I'll show you where this balance is um, I believe right around somewhere around the hook keeper yeah so about two and a half to three inches in front of the real nut is where it balances so a little tip heavy not something that you're going to notice a ton but it is noticeable if you're used to using perfectly balanced rods you're going to notice it and I prefer my uh, bottom contact rods to be as close to perfectly balanced as I can. So that's one thing that I don't necessarily love about this rod and actually I'm going to go ahead and say that is the only thing that I don't love about this rod is the balance. Everything else is awesome. For 200 bucks, build quality is beautiful. The cork is nice. I love the split grip. Um, one thing that I really enjoy and it's something that I had no idea I would love so much but that is the real nut and, and the screw to, to get your reel on. The fact that it's foam and so big and so easily accessible, like you can just grab it. When you're changing reels out, that's awesome. I don't know if you know what it's like to the, like those little tiny reel nuts that are like butted up right against the reel, like trying to squeeze your hand on there and turn once you really, like if, if you really crank a reel on there, which you probably shouldn't uh, unless you're like flipping or frogging. But if you really have a reel cranked on there, it is such a pain to get it off this it's literally like cake you could crank this thing down really crank it down and get it right off so i love absolutely love that i guess another negative and it's not necessarily a negative about the rod there's a lot of competitors in this price point for 200 bucks you're looking at the zodius you're looking at the falcon expert dobbins caden uh, maybe even some champions on sale, which they regularly go 20, 25% off. You can get some Dobbins champions on sale. There's the Daiwa Rebellion, which I just started using. I, I use the 610 medium heavy, uh, which is an awesome rod. That's 200 bucks. So lots of competition. However, what the competition doesn't have on St. Croix is warranty. Now, the only company that rivals St. Croix in warranty is Dobbins, and that is a lifetime warranty on like 99% of their rods. You just pay us a, a fee. If anything happens to the rod, if you snap the rod in half out of pure anger, you could just pay a fee, send in the logo section of the rod and they will send you a brand new one in like a week if it's in stock, it's crazy. Um, St. Croix, 15 year warranty on this rod, which is insane. After 15 years, you will have certainly gotten your money's worth. And if you snap it year, 14 11th month in you just pay a replacement fee send in the rod and they'll send you a new one which is 
awesome. So amazing warranty on this bad boy right here. One more thing I will say about the St. Croix Victory line, the entire line is made 100% in the USA, which is kind of a big deal, especially for uh, the price point that it's at. You're not gonna find many rods that are uh, this much of a value that are made in the USA. So that is awesome. Huge props to St. Croix for that. Now, as far as sensitivity goes with this rod, so this is made with their SC3 Plus blank. Uh, it's a great blank. It's sensitive. It's probably just as sensitive as a Dobbins Champion, if not maybe a touch more. Uh, you're not gonna be disappointed with the St. Croix Victory. So overall, let me just wrap this up, uh, conclude all my thoughts like I like to do at the end of my video. This is definitely a rod worth looking at if you're looking to spend around 200 bucks. It has fierce competition with the uh, Zodius and Rebellion line, even uh, some Dobbins rods, uh, Falcon. There's tons of competition. The $200 price point is loaded with amazing rods. The Victory just brings another level of value with a 15 year warranty and it's definitely a rod worth looking at i love the action of this rod like i said it's rated as an extra fast it's more of a moderate fast and i enjoy that i like that for my jigs it's definitely um not a super soft tip uh but when you do hook a fish it loads up really well if you get a good hook set you're not losing that fish that is a huge selling point to me on this particular rod, on the Full Contact Finesse. I can't speak for any other rods in their line. They might be accurate in their description, um, but this one certainly seems to be a little bit off. As for negatives, like I said, the really only negative is that it is not balanced as much as I'd like it to be. I think St. Croix might even be able to add maybe just a touch more weight at the back end, dare I say, just to balance it out a little more. It's not really something that's super noticeable but it is noticeable once you start fishing with uh rods that are balanced really well pros of this rod super lightweight 4.2 ounces you're usually not going to get a rod that's 4.2 ounces especially like a jig and flipping rod unless you're bumping up to like an x pride an adrena a steez a dobbins ecstasy you're really not going to get much lighter than this unless you're spending over 300 dollars. so Super impressed by that. Uh, build quality and materials, great for the price point. Like I said, I freaking love this real nut. Giant, and it's super easy to take on and off. Easy access, that's one thing I love. And I kind of didn't even realize that uh, it was an issue on other rods until I got this rod, so that's really cool. Um, yeah. St. Croix Victory, super impressed with it. I love this rod and I want to try more rods from this line for sure. Hopefully in the spring I'll be able to get my hands on a few more rods from this line because I'd love to test them out and share that information with you guys. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for the St. Croix victory. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your time. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next review. Take care.